Hey there guys, WolfTM2008 here, and in this video I'm going to show you how you can use WinRAR and any type of ISO burner to uh, either get ISOs onto a disk or to extract and run it. So for this I'm going to be using one of my videos as an example, it's the Get Microsoft Works SE9 for free, for free, and here is the download file. It's a RAR file, so we do need WinRAR, which I do have installed on my system. So I'm just going to set this to download. Take a couple of minutes. So the reason why I've been prompted to, to do this video is because I've had a YouTuber asking me questions because he's having problems with it. So the first problem he had was that he had WinRAR set to recognize the ISO files which meant that he's actually extracted into the works9.iso and he's ended up with two folders two files sorry the msworks folder and the autorun.inf file now I'm going to show you how you can drag and drop this onto your desktop so we can put it onto a disk and then I will show the WinRAR way as well. Now for this we will need a CDR or a DVDR disk. RW disks will not work because it cannot close the burn procedure. So just bear that in mind. Right. File is taking a while to download so what I think I'm going to do is just leave that in the background for a second and I'll show you this other tool as well. So I close this and this. Now this is the ISO burner I'm going to be using. It's called Free ISO Burner. Web address is at the top. It will also be in the video description. Now for this we don't need any virtual drives installing but that is another way of doing it. But this way I find personally is a lot more cleaner. So it's a very simple tool. Click here on the download link. It will take you to a mirror site. Then once you're on this site, just contact in the download location. Once it's there, click on the top. It's doing it automatically because I already have one installed or downloaded, should I say. It's giving me the little one there. So I'm going to go into my downloads. Be careful not to close your web browser, otherwise the file will not get downloaded. And I'm just going to bring my ISO burner onto my desktop so that we know what we're playing with. Okay. And close the downloads then. So, I'm just going to do a bit of clean up here. As you can see, it is taking its time. So it's got around 12 minutes left. Which isn't too bad, but it's good to keep an eye on. So I'm going to cut out the video here and come back once it's downloaded. Okay, so now that our download is complete, we are going to navigate to the location where it's saved. So it's gone into my downloads and it's here. I'm just going to drag and drop this to the desktop. So we have everything in one area. We don't need the web browser now. So we should have our ISO burning tool, either free ISO burner or something like power ISO. And of course we do need WinRAR installed if you don't already have it go and watch my video you'll find it on my channel and then we need our file which we are going to be playing with now as you can see this is a .rar file so I'm just going to click into this and as you can see I have the three folders which means that WinRAR has recognized the ISO file if you get in a white background with a disk image that means that in these settings and the integration settings this box is unchecked so this means that you won't be able to access the ISO from inside WinRAR you'll have to mount it to the disk 
which is okay for what we're going to be doing first of all. For the second part we will need this check, so go ahead and do that now, so that we don't have to mess about with it later. And it's just going to ask it to refresh it again. So, this I'm going to drag and drop onto my desktop. So an ISO has just appeared here. Now, if I now double click into this, you will see that I have two folders, or two files, one folder and one file. All this is what appears on the ISO. The ISO makes everything into a nice, tidy package that can be run properly. So to do this, we would go into our ISO burning tool, We'd select the ISO file, so it's on my desktop, and it's works 9. So I'd select it, and I'd choose it to go for max, and I'd name the volume as works 9. Now, I don't have a disk to hand to show you how this process would work, but it's basically simple. Once you've done this, you click burn, you don't do anything else until it's till you that it has completed so I'm going to show you an example of what would appear with a Windows 7 professional 32-bit install so I'm going to run this, but as you can see, this is what has appeared on my disk. This is an actual ISO that I have burnt using the free ISO burner tool onto the disk, and it works well. And as you can see, this is just what is on there. But we don't need to do anything with this, of course, if you are using your works 9 or whatever ISO tool you just go ahead and run it as a program so the other way we can do it is by like I said having the works 9 ISO file and basically extracting it to a separate folder So it's extracting to a works 9 folder. And then what we can do is we can just pop that file. We can pop that folder somewhere. Anywhere on our system. So long as we have access to the executable file that is inside of it. So it's now completed the extract to a separate file separate folder sorry and inside it's just what I had when I viewed it it's just basically the same as what was in here except because it's in a separate extracted folder now I can go into here and basically click on the setup.exe And as you can see, it is opening up the Windows installer. And it's wanting me to install the Windows. Microsoft works. So I'm just going to cancel that. And exit. Right. Cancel. So these are the two different options. We can either use the free ISO burner. Or we can use the WinRAR tool in order to extract the content of the ISO by right clicking on the ISO and extract to the name of the ISO minus the .ISO part which will let us move this folder anywhere on our system bearing in mind we will still need access to the setup.exe 
don't think you can uh, move the contents of this folder either everything has to stay where it is otherwise the process will not work it will get confused and it will just stop on you so as long as you have this content here all staying the same and have access to the setup.exe you will be fine this video was impromptu so if you do watch it thank you very much um, my name is wolfteam 2008 please don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you enjoy my videos or this video or want to check out other videos from me like i said you will need winrar so go ahead and find my winrar video on my channel you can find my channel by just clicking at the top on my name or just searching wolfteam 2008 in youtube please also consider checking out my Facebook page as well. The URL will be in the video description and at the end of this video. I thank you very much for watching. Have a nice weekend. Bye-bye.